hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thank you for subscribing so today's video is going to be i think i'm going to title it kanye west a lesson about humility because <laughs> this whole fiasco that has been happening for the past two weeks it's really an eye opener and also a lesson for us who are on the outside looking in on how to stay humble and the consequences of not being humble right that being said, for the past week and a half, I've been watching people on YouTube make all sorts of videos. They're talking about how what happened with Kanye West with the Adidas situation with Adidas dropping him is just um proving his point that Jews really run the entertainment industry and how Kanye West is gonna bounce back and everyone has different opinions on this issue well i listened i i observed i heard everyone's point of view but based off of my knowledge i haven't heard anyone talk about him his humility being a lesson right now Kanye West's downfall is his own fault. And hear me out. Before you get all upset and want to comment in the comment section, it's his fault. Why? Because he had multiple opportunities to stop before he harmed himself. I want everyone to really realize that this situation that happened to Kanye, it's literally a timeline of issues that has been snowballing into one thing which has led to his demise and am i gloating and am i happy that this man has fallen no i'm not i'm not happy to see anyone fall however sometimes god has to humble us in order for us to see the damage that we're doing right the bible says that pride goes before a fall and haughtiness or a haughty spirit comes before destruction and this bible scripture it's in proverbs it's literally came into manifestation okay now as i said before his destruction was a timeline meaning that it was bound to happen because it's just been sl a snowball of issues coming up for, for years now right i saw this perspective which i think is a very interesting one where people are saying that oh so when kanye west says anything about black people he doesn't get cancelled he continues to make money but as soon as he offends jewish people he makes money right that being said i I think the reason why he continues to make money while offending black people is because black people aren't in a position of power in the United States. Based off of my knowledge, okay, I'm talking about what I know, what I see, and what I observe, right? That being said, not only that, but also I don't think that corporations in the US care enough to cancel him over the comments that he has made against his own people because I know that he said that Harriet Tubman did nothing for the slaves and I also know that he did the White Lives Matter incident among other things but those are the two incidents that I know are prevalent and nobody really cancelled him with that no big or major corporation cancelled him except for um i think it was chase bank at the time right if i'm wrong please correct me in the comment section but there wasn't a huge backlash or or or, or a huge hurrah over kanye disrespecting and saying things about black people but that just shows everyone that the up that that just shows everyone that black people are really valued in america which is quite sad actually anyways so he disrespects the jews says that he's going death con three um i heard some perspectives saying that he didn't mean to say death con but actually death con three which is a military defense position in the in the united states army um 
listen i don't know what he intended to say or did not intend to say what i am saying is that why would you make a tweet on twitter when you're sleepy why not just go to bed and wake up in the morning and and and, and tweet and maybe you probably say something different you know he probably would have tweeted something different aside from death gone three because at the end of the day at the end of the day people are gonna take whatever a celebrity says out of context so even if he didn't mean okay he's gonna start the holocaust right anytime you say death and jewish people are gonna freak out and go bizarre because of what happened to them to the jewish people with the nazis okay that being said i don't feel sorry for him in any i don't feel sorry for Kanye. right i feel as if this incident that happened to him it's for the best really and truly and I hope that he's able to learn from everything that has happened because he caused this mess on himself. First, he says, first he went on Paris Morgan, right? And this is where you can see the haughtiness and the pride that is within him. And before I see him in my comments, oh, he wasn't prideful, blah, blah, blah. Let's look at the definition of pride, shall we? Pride, a feeling of deep pleasure or satisfaction derived from one's own achievements, the achievements of those with whom one is closely associated, or from qualities or positions that are widely admired. Admired. There is nothing wrong with feeling proud of your accomplishments, but when you boast and you gloat in it and then you put down people, then that's where the issue is. And that could be seen clearly when he went on Paris Morgan's show and he was like well how much are you worth how much are you worth Paris um let me you can ignore me you can ignore me Paris Paris how much money are you worth not as much as you sadly exactly so take my advice maybe you'll get richer I would love to take your business advice why would I listen to you I'm yeah so he was telling Paris Morgan that he wasn't worth as much as him. So he was boasting that he was a, mil a billionaire. Sorry. He was boasting that he was a billionaire. So that was strike number one. Strike number two now, with his pride and haughtiness, was when he went on drink, drink champs. I can never say that name properly. But when he went on drink champs, after the Pierce, was it after the Pierce program? I think so. If I'm wrong, let me know. But after the whole anti Semitic tweet things, he went on Drink Champs as well. And he was like, Yo, I can say anti Semitic stuff. And Adidas can't drop him. And when I saw that, I was like, What are you saying? Is it that you have some secret for Adidas that we don't know? Is it that Adidas had a, had a Nazi background? Because um, I think it's a German company and allegedly I heard that um, they were supplying shoes to the Nazis back then. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's true, honey. Right? But what? Why, why would Adidas not drop you? Do you think that you're so valuable to the company that you basically own it? Like, what? what is the reason for this comment? I don't think that this man thinks about what he's going to say before he speaks. I think he just speaks, sees the aftermath, and then tries to correct it. And that is self-destructive. This is what he said on Jim Chance. And now, the thing about it, me and Adidas, is like, I could literally say anti-Semitic shit and they can't drop me. I could say anti-Semitic things and Adidas can't drop me. Now what? Now what? You know what I'm saying? So that's the position. That's the reason why I went out. Right? <laughs> the video cut off there. So the man said that he can say anti-Semitic things and Adidas cannot drop him. And then lo and behold, Adidas drops him. And I think the reason why Adidas dropped him was because of the amount of pressure that they were facing from the public. I don't believe that like they dropped him because of the comments right because remember you know 
you had Balenciaga, you had his talent agency, you had major corporations and sponsorship dropping him as well. So with Adidas not dropping him, he looks bad. And I find it so funny that Kanye was talking about he was the richest black man alive, which is not true. Because when I went on Mr. Google, you know, I typed in who is the richest black man alive and I found this man who is a Nigerian billionaire. He is worth $11.5 million dollars. And at the time when Kanye was a billionaire, he was only worth $2 billion. And this billionaire's name is Laiko Dangote. And I'm sure I butchered this man's name. Let me look it up. Let me see if I can get the pronunciation right. Aliko Dangote. Same thing, I butchered it. Aliko Dangote. Aliko Dangote. Okay, he's Nigerian. He's worth 11.5 billion US dollars. And he's alive and well. He's 65 years old in Nigeria. So when he was when Kanye was talking about he's the richest black billionaire since Manta Musa, I was like, what are you talking about? Like he's making it seem as if there's no other black man that's a billionaire aside from him and Jay-Z. There are a lot of black billionaires. They may not be in the status of a Elon Musk or a Jeff Bezos or what am I under who what Microsoft name? Bill Gates, but the man is worth more than Kanye when Kanye was a billionaire. So I don't even know where he got his information from. Anyways, so after Kanye makes a fool of himself, he bites the hand that feeds him, which was Adidas, and he was arrogant and boastful on drink champs. And on uh, Paris Morgan show, Adidas drops him because of public pressure. And then after that, he comes out and he has a public apology for Black Americans. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let me listen to this apology because I didn't listen to it in full. There's two things that are happening. A lot of times when I would say, oh, I'm the richest black man, it would be a defense that I would use for the mental health conversation. To say, oh, you guys say I'm crazy, but look at this, I made money. And, but, but that is not godlike to be showing off. So if it's not godlike, then God will take that because it's, it's, all, it's all the church's money, right? So. What's happening right now is I'm being humbled. Another thing that's happening is by me being uh, burned to the flesh every single day, it's actually proving, um, it's actually proving what I had to say. So um, when I went to the mediation, what I want to say is like black people are like, okay, Lex Friedman got you to apologize. Uh, Pierce Morgan got you to apologize to the Jews, but you never apologized to us about the George Floyd comment that made us feel bad. Now the thing is, okay, JFK, they got a lot of documentaries about how it happened. So we can argue about how it happened, which I like the fact that we can do that. But regardless, when I see that video as a black person, it hurts my feelings. And I know that police do attack and America is generally racist. And I understand that when we got to say Black Lives Matter, that the idea of it, the idea of it made us feel good together as a, as a, as a person, uh, as, as a people, right? When, uh, let me say it so the sound bite is better for you guys. When the idea of Black Lives Matter came out, it made us come together as a people. Now afterwards, yes, there was some uh, there are some things where the money went. There are some things where it was used in order to push us to the Democratic vote. There were people behind and involved. That happened. But the general feeling. So when I said that, and I and I and I questioned the death of George Floyd, it hurt my people. It hurt the black people. So I want to apologize to hurting them because right now God has shown me by what Adidas is doing and by what by what the media is doing. I know how it feels. 
to have a knee on my neck now. So I thank you, God, for humbling me and letting me know how it really felt. Because how could the richest black man ever be humbled other than to be made to not be a billionaire in front of everyone off of one comment that actually, if you look at the definition of DEF CON, it means to get extra defense, which obviously I must have needed. Yeah. You I must have needed so, that extra. I stopped it at two minutes and 40 seconds. Listen. At the end of the day, I do not know Kanye West's heart. I can only judge him based on his actions. And the Bible says that you're supposed to cast righteous judgment. That being said, I know that. Um, it has been said that he has mental health issues. I do not know what those mental health issues are. I've heard that some people said that he's bipolar, some people said that he's a narcissist, some people said X, Y, and Z. However, just because somebody has mental health issues, it does not excuse them for their behavior because you have some people who have these issues and they actually use that and weaponize it against people. And they get away with things and they say oh it's because i have they have a mental health problem when really and truly they're using that mental health problem as an excuse to do more damage okay okay that being said i am happy to know that he has apologized to the african-american community about the harmful comments and the things that he's said great wonderful However, the next moves that Kanye does will determine if he was truthful or not, right? Because he can apologize and then three, four months later, he does something equivalent or worse to harm the black community. And the, I believe that the only reason why he's apologizing is because he knows that black people on a whole, they're very forgiving and they're very welcoming, okay? I do not hate Kanye. I'm not losing any sleep over Kanye that here at night. However, I just want to know that he's sincerely apologetic and he doesn't do anything to harm. He doesn't do anything and he doesn't say anything to harm black Americans ever again. And only time will tell about that. Right? I don't hate him. And if I'm being honest, if Kanye is a true Christian, a real Bible-believing Christian, and not just using Christianity to get more clout because a lot of celebrities do that, but if he's a real child of God, he will bounce back from this. Because you have many people in the Bible who were humbled by God, and God raised them up again. Look at Nebuchadnezzar. Look at the story of King Nebuchadnezzar. He was a king, he was humbled by God, and God raised him up. So it's not late for Kanye West, and it's not too foregone for him to bounce back. However, in order for him to bounce back, he really has to understand why he was humbled. Not only understand why he was humbled, but he actually has to be repentant and not go back to the Kanye that he was. Because he can say he's sorry all he wants, but if he doesn't change, no one is going to ever rock with him ever again. There needs to be a change in behavior. And it's not as if he's worth zero dollars. He's still worth like $400 million. And he also owns the Yeezy brand name. So he can still make his shoes. He can still sell shoes and Yeezy gear. I don't know what he sells, okay? I just know that there's some ugly shoes, okay? He can still sell shoes. Will he still have the same amount of support? I don't think so. But over a period of time, if he continues to do good in the black community, if he continues to work on himself, watch what he says and is truly repentant and really really calls on the name of god this situation can turn around but if he doesn't and he just continues with his tirade like what he did with pierce morgan and drink drink champs 
can't pronounce that word and um, with his buffoonery with Candice Owens he's just gonna end up with zero dollars and then might I add he spoke about JFK and there are many perspectives to the assassination blah 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 I mean JFK was an assassination you understand this wasn't an assassination at times the cops knee was in the man's neck the man died those are two different situations like you're comparing apples to oranges at this point i understand what he's saying when he said that he wanted to hear a different perspective as it relates to the joyce Floyd situation and there's nothing wrong in wanting to hear a different perspective by all means go ahead maybe there's some information that we are not privy to that you know if you get that information you can share it with the black community as well however this is not the way to go about it and then i do not want to even watch that documentary that Candace Owens came out with with the Daily Wire because I find that documentary and that whole process very critical because you are going to slash and cuss Black Lives Matter talking about how they stole how much millions of dollars from the black community allegedly I don't know maybe they did if they did they should be locked up the persons who were running the organization however you turn around and make a documentary that is funded by Ben Shapiro from the Daily Wire and it's filling your pockets so isn't that like the teapot calling the kettle black because you expect me to pay eight dollars to watch your documentary that you were paid f paid to make that doesn't make any sense so basically everybody's monetizing off of black people's pain black lives matter is monetizing from the fact that black people are getting killed by police officers in america and then candace owens and ben shapiro are monetizing from the fact that black lives matter the organization that was made to help black people in america they're doing fraudulent activities and by them making a documentary of it they're making money as well so everyone wins except black americans that's sad Guys, as I said before, this video is just to remind you guys that pride comes before a fall, a haughty spirit before destruction. So please don't be like communists. Every blessing that God gives you, cherish it. Cherish it, take care of it, respect it, and honor it because He gives us the ability to gain wealth. And do not make a fool of yourself with it, or else you're gonna end up like Kanye. Let me know your thoughts below in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And share if you care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.